are much deeper. Our Kara Jeffers looks at the history of Juneteenth across the nation and in Erie. Speakers blared across Perry Square Saturday night. A crowd of people danced in front of the stage. Tents surrounded the area, local businesses peddling their wares. Angela McNair, coordinator for Erie's Juneteenth block party, sees the holiday as a chance to educate on the past while celebrating the present and future. It's a celebration of African American heritage. It's a celebration of our community. Maybelline the artist hosted her first museum exhibit on Thursday to kick off Juneteenth celebrations in Erie for 2023. So I think that whenever you bring the community together for something positive like a Juneteenth celebration, that's something that everyone's going to create some positive memories and want to be a part of in the years to come. While Juneteenth became a federal holiday in 2021, the celebration's history, both nationally and in Erie, predates Biden's signature. The origins of the holiday celebrate when slaves in Galveston, Texas, learned they were freed by the Emancipation Proclamation in the teen weeks of June 1885. The next year, uh, they began to celebrate in Texas, and then it moved to South Carolina, and then Louisiana, so in various different cities in, in the 1870s, I'm sorry, in the 1860s, 1870s, it began to spread throughout the South. The holiday's popularity died off in the 1890s, though, as segregation, Jim Crow laws, and other inequalities subdued celebrations. But it made a resurgence after World War II and the Civil Rights Movement. In Erie, some of the first citywide Juneteenth celebrations took place from 1996 to 1998. Sababu helped organize those initial events, but while Juneteenth had returned in some regions, it was still not widely recognized. The initial Erie celebrations died off. It's difficult to galvanize people to continue to uh, celebrate something that they're not very familiar with. It maybe wasn't seen as important or not knowledgeable about it. Angela McNair held on to childhood memories of the holiday, though, and in 2013, she organized its comeback. Well, the first year um, was exciting, and it was also a little um, intimidating because it was such big shoes to fill behind. Several organizations attached to the event, and it has only continued to grow. I've grown up here, I've watched, I've learned, I've saw, and I just want to carry on the torch and don't want to leave any flames unlit when it comes to um, African American heritage or history in Erie, Pennsylvania. Kara Jeffers, Erie News Now.